What's happening ladies and gentlemen, this is Min from Architecture Inspirations. Today I'm going to show you how to model your building faster using flex tools for SketchUp. Let's get started. Flex tools is one of the premium SketchUp extension that I have been wanting to use for a while now. You can buy it by using this link here, but there's a giveaway at the end of the video, so make sure you watch until the end to participate. When you first installed it, this is the toolbar that you will see. The first part of the toolbar contains five different types of components that you can create. This includes the flex door, window, trapezoidal window, slats, panels, etc. And all of them are dynamic components. This means that you can scale the components while maintaining the proportions, which can help increase the modeling speed by a whole lot. Also, you can easily customize it to make it fit your design however you want. For example, when placing a component such as a flex door, you can open and close the door using this button here, and you can flip it using this button here. You can also use this tool here to interact with the component. If you hover over the top of the door, you can see that it says toggle top panel. If you click it, it will add a top panel to the door, then click it again to remove it. Similarly, you can click the left or right side of the door to add a side panel, and you can click the same side twice to add both panels. If you click the panel itself, then you can toggle between one or two doors. Pretty cool, huh? If you click the door itself, then you can open and close it. And click on the arc to change the door angle. If you use this button here on the toolbar, it will show you more options that you can use to customize your component. I'm not going to go into details for all of these objects because I want to focus on the newest feature, the wall cutter. Before the latest update, you would create an opening in the wall first and insert one of the components that you want, then scale it to match the opening. But with the latest update, wall cutter is now part of the extension, so you can simply place a component on the wall and it will automatically create that opening. Now you can move and scale it however you want, or even make copies of it, and it will automatically adjust those openings to fit that component. This makes the extension even more powerful than before. When placing a component on the wall, remember that the wall has to be a group or a component and have the front faces pointing outward. Otherwise, placing the component would not make the opening automatically. Next is this button here, which lets you turn off auto rotation when placing a component. Note that this also removes the ability to generate openings automatically when placing it. So this is often used when you want to create the opening first and then insert one of these components. This next button here launches the wall cutter window, which provides you several options for the selected component. The first option here will let you adjust the cut depth by the number of faces like so. This works best when each of these layers of the walls are its own separate component. If you look closely, the opening geometry also inherits the wall's material with the correct mapping, which is super awesome. The conversion button lets you turn a wall cutter component into a regular component, and vice versa, from a regular component into a wall cutter. This is perfect for creating custom wall cutters using your own doors and windows objects. An important thing to note when doing this is to correctly set your axis. An easy workflow that I use is to place the object on the floor like so, and make it a component, then convert it to a wall cutter. Pretty cool, huh? You can also create a dynamic opening by first drawing a rectangle on the X and Y plane, make it a component, then convert it into a wall cutter. Now place it on the wall, and now go inside the component and hide this face. Now you can scale and move the edges however you like to adjust the opening. This also works with a circle too. This is simple, but can be very useful. Wall cutter is even more useful when you nest them inside components like this, and then make copies of them. This way, any changes you make on an assembly will affect all other instances of that assembly as well. And if you want to stop linking one component to the others, then you need to make it unique. But first, you need to remove the cuts using this button here, and then make the outer component unique, as well as the wall in the inside. Then click this button here to refresh the cuts. Now you can make changes to the unique component and it will not affect the others. Or vice versa, changes to the other two will not affect this component. 
Finally, if you want to delete a window while saving the opening, then you can unlink it first and delete it after. Flex tools also include other useful tools such as Plan View, which helps optimize your model for 2D plans, and Component Finder, which helps manage your 3D models easily and efficiently. I covered this extension in a previous video, it's still free for those who want to get it. There's actually so many things that you can do with this extension, but I don't have time to cover everything today, so experiment with it and see what you can come up with. And that's how you can use Flex Tool to increase your modeling speed in SketchUp. As for the giveaway, the creator of Flex Tools is giving away three licenses for this extension. If you want to enter this giveaway, go to my Facebook page and look at the latest post for more details. I will leave a link in the comment section and the description box as well. And that's all for today guys, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and comment below if you have any questions. Stay inspired guys, and I'll see you next time.